Hi, I am no longer a Republican. I'm 72 and I'm a Vermonter. When I was in my 20s, I used to work for Jim Jeffords. Um, Jim was a Vermont con young Vermont congressman uh, who later became a senator, uh, and I worked for him for three years. I've been a selectman, which is like an alderman in a small town here in Vermont. I've been uh, 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 in the fire department. I've been a volunteer for many, many years. In 1980, I helped my husband run for the U.S. Senate against then brand new Senate, brand new Senator Pat Leahy. Um, and most of my friends, because this is Vermont, uh, are Democrats, and I have had a challenging time from time to time, keeping up with being teased all the time and being the brunt of many jokes uh, because I'm a, a nasty Republican. But we are um, serial entrepreneurs and believe very much in um, government not running everything and letting uh, businesses uh, in a fairly unregulated state uh, grow so that they can increase the uh, welfare and the hope of people uh, that work for them. Anyway, then the story I want to tell is that I had the honor as a young woman of having an, uh, an elderly gentleman be my mentor. And he once told me the story of him during World War II. When the war broke out, he decided that he needed to do his patriotic duty, so he went to the Coast Guard Academy and graduated as a brand new officer. And when he came out, uh, he was put on his first boat ship going in the middle of the night over the Atlantic Ocean to Europe, watching literally with binoculars uh, for um, submarine, German submarines. They didn't have all the fancy equipment and stuff, you know, sonar and everything, the things we have now, the uh, satellites and stuff. Um, so he spent his whole night on the front of the boat freezing to death with some, what he said, lousy coffee. And when the sun come up, came up, or as he was sitting there, he thought to himself, what in the heck is a nice young man like me from Cincinnati doing in a place like this? Whatever happened that got me here? And in the morning when the sun came up, he realized what had happened. And his um, aha moment was that the German people had abdicated their social responsibility too early in the game. And by the time they realized they had given up their rights and they had not exercised their social responsibility, it was too late. It was too much of a threat to be, to go against the Nazi government. And I think that's where we are today. Um, we are in a government run by a megalomaniac who does not do his homework. Um, he, you know, one day he threatens to end the postal system and cancel the election. Another day he calls military forces into towns and and brings weapons and guns in that the governors and the select boards and the um, state uh, attorneys have not asked to have come in. He announces the president is above the law. He doesn't have to be isn't held to the same laws that we are. He pardons people who are his friends. He's firing anyone who questions his decisions. He's creating and encouraging divides between the races on a daily basis. He's creating news stories that aren't true to divide us from each other, um, from you know, socially and, and economically and religiously. He's undermining our relationship with other countries. He's no longer welcoming immigrants or anyone who's different than wealthy white men, um, which is the pure race. And I think we've heard these kinds of things before. He's threatening to cancel or postpone elections. And this is a pattern that we've seen before in history. It's a terrifying pattern. And it's one that the Republican legislatures, legislators locally and nationally and in the state governments need to stand up and say no to instead of encouraging or at least tolerating the path that this man is leading us down. So until that happens, I can no longer call myself a Republican. And I hope you join me.